So guys, we are in my grow tent right now and I just want to show you the amount of plants right here that I have to <laughs> spray today. I think today I'm only going to focus on Hoyas and just spray all this Hoyas with sulfur mix. So there is quite a lot just here alone. And I also have so many upstairs. But I guess that's what we're doing today, you guys. And there's two more trays here. And I also have propagation boxes. Box number one, two, three, and four, you guys. And they're all full of cuttings. So it's gonna be a lot of work. All right, here's all of my plants, you guys. There's so many of them. This is insanity. Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to be treating all of my grow tent Hoyas for a new uprising enemy in the plant community, which is a flat mites. I know there's been a lot of talk about them. Apparently it's new issues that people are been having with Hoyas. And honestly, I knew about them and I knew about sulfur treatment that they are extremely sensitive to. I just did not think that I personally had that issue. But after watching Doug Chamberlain's channel, he has a great video on that. If you guys want to see it, I will maybe link it in the description. I don't know if I'm allowed to link other people's video, but it's a very good video if you guys want to check it out. After hearing the information the King of Hoyas provided, I started thinking that honestly, all of us, all of the plant people do have that problem, including myself, because there's no way with having such a huge collection of plants coming from all over the world, especially Hoyas, and those are the plants that seem to be suffering the most from flesh mites that I do not have any on my plants although yesterday I have tried to look it through the microscope on my Hoyas that are in my living room and I just picked three random Hoyas and I did not see anything at all on them and I have not really looked at any of those plants that I have in my grow tent from what I understand with flat mites you don't really see them at all unless you really look at under microscope but one way to tell is by seeing vines dying back, new foliage dying back before it even forms. And I do see that with my plants. Not all of them, but I do see it with my plants. I think all of us have them in our homes. And especially my plants, they are staying in a grow tent and they are in a small space. They do touch each other. They do. I do move them around. I do bring them up to film videos for you. I'm pretty sure they did have a contact with each other at some point. And although I don't see dieback and spotting and yellowing or any kind of issues with all of my Hoyas, I'm pretty sure having them in such a tight space, I'm pretty sure they are spreaded or will be spreading at some point. So in this case, I have decided that I'm going to basically treat all of them, at least starting off with just my grow tent plants and then kind of slowly move on to certain areas in my house and do it little by little. Otherwise, I will lose my mind, you guys. I honestly just got rid of millibugs. Oh my gosh, it's like always something with plant collection, I swear. It just... It would have been so much easier if we could just water them and admire them and that's about it <laughs> but there's so much more to this hobby and this is definitely one of the things that's not necessarily pleasant unfortunately huge job it took me a while just to even bring all these plants out here and this is just a fraction of my collection but we're gonna be spraying all of these plants with sulfur mixture and then I gotta take them back to my grow tent, you guys. So let me talk about the sulfur mixture first. What seemed to work for Doug uh, on his Hoyas is the sulfur powder. 
so I got it off on Amazon it is not expensive product this whole bottle is about ten dollars and to be honest with you it's not full it, it looks large but it's actually only halfway filled when you open it up and I think that's just the way they package their products and what you're supposed to do you're supposed to mix this with water and then you spray your plants basically covering every single nook and cranny on your plants and you're supposed to leave this stuff on for eight to ten weeks so you don't wash it off there is a, a little argument about how you're supposed to respray it every so often but i don't think i want to do that i'm just gonna go with what doug did because i really don't have it in me to keep spraying and spraying them all the time what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna spray it and leave it for 10 weeks and then you can rinse it off and hopefully they would be eradicated i have no idea so i guess we're gonna try i have never done this before and the way you could tell it works actually is when your vines are starting to grow out again and there is no dying back vines and your foliage will emerge after a while so i guess we'll find out obviously it's going to take a little while and i will definitely check in after a certain time what i did was the mixture it's recommended to use three tablespoons of powder with on one gallon of water my sprayer bottle it's 1.5 liters and there is 3.8 liters in a gallon so basically i split the recommended dose in half and i'm sure i'm gonna have to mix once more to spray all of this hoyas so basically i used one and a half tablespoon of powder and then I just filled I put it straight into my spray bottle and um, and then I just filled up with water and um, just I guess give it a little shake I don't know but powder itself is very very fine so as I was filling it up with water I could tell it was dissolving before my eyes another thing I want to let you know when we spray all of these Hoyas it does create this really ugly white film on your plants and you're gonna have to look at it for eight to ten weeks so it's definitely not gonna be a pretty sight for a while but i guess at the end of the day it's worth it so i guess let's start the treatment and spray my plants ugly i guess also i cannot believe you guys we are doing this in november this is crazy it's 67 degrees today in Michigan and it's very very sunny I'm so glad that I'm able to do this outside today and not spray all that white filmy stuff <laughs> indoors because I really don't want to deal with the mess at inside my house this is already enough to deal with so I'm gonna try to go through all of these and get it done today while I have a nice weather to work outside all right you guys i hope everything is in the frame here it's hard to tell for me the sun is really reflecting the screen i guess for me so i guess let's start off with this large hoyas right here so this is what is this 851 heart leaf silver spot and this hoya right here you can see there is definitely die back on both of the vines gosh i hope you guys can see it I mean, other than that, leaves and everything looks pretty healthy. Um, but there is dye back on this vine. So, and like I said, I'm going to spray every single one of them and just make sure I get rid of the issue. Oh, it's white, you guys. It's definitely white. And once it dries up, I'm sure it's going to be even more. Elliptica. Let me show you this on my elliptica. And I made the video on this Hoya not too long ago and she was doing very well for me. But look at the new foliage right here. Do you see that leaf? It's definitely having some kind of issue, guys. This is not normal. All the other leaves look pretty healthy. And usually mites, flat mites or any kind of mites, they will go for a new foliage because it's easier for them to chew on that i guess <laughs> so i also know that some people actually just make a paste out of this powder 
and just paint it on their Hoyas and you can do that also but I feel like that would be so much more time consuming and um, having such a large collection you guys that's just absolutely impossible and I know it's super sunny right now and it's probably not a good idea to do this in the sun but I will get them out of the sun as soon as I'm done spraying them so it's not really an issue all right this is done you guys so that box is done and I just moved it out of the way more shady area now let's go through little guys here very good example right here you guys so you could see this is my Hoya Canigiana Alba Marginata and you can see how healthy and beautiful this these leaves are but if you look at to look at this leaf right here it's definitely have a lot of visible damage definitely something is eating it and I guess you gotta make sure we get under leaves basically every single part of the plant Oh, and somebody was asking why don't I ever show my Hoya Australis Lisa just because it's always suffered for me and I keep rerouting this Hoya over and over again and I bought it three years ago you guys from Europe and it's always suffered and it's finally doing well it looks beautiful and that's one of the reasons why I wasn't showing it to you guys it just I got a really bad clone from the beginning and sometimes it takes a very long time and few times rerouting plants to get them to the healthy state. So from what I understand also, this sulfur mixture does not hurt plants. Does not, it will not hurt foliage. It will not even hurt peduncles. Totally safe to do the treatment for these plants. And look at this, you guys. My Matilde actually bloomed days ago and apparently I missed it and that was the first bloom ever so it's done now obviously so maybe next time I will catch it here's another very good example this is my Hoya Zambales it's very cute it's like mini Vietti and it just very very tiny leaves on it it's very adorable and you could see the vine right here it is totally died back let's do this big box this is just my propagations here and I don't care that some of it is dripping into my boxes to be honest with you maybe it's good there's gonna be some sulfur <laughs> inside my propagation boxes because honestly I do wash them pretty often anyway and I want this treatment to work I'm getting low but this is the last box I mean I do still have some more in my grow tent that I haven't brought it out here yet but for now this is the last box and honestly 1.5 lit liters treated basically a lot of plants you guys all right you guys let me show you all this hoyas that's been sprayed so i will let them dry up a little bit it's still gonna be warm for three four hours and then i'll start bringing them in and you could tell that white film beating up on it right now and it's kind of looks cool right now but as it dry up it will not look as pretty because it will dry up to that matte white finish but here they are a lot of plants that we had to spray guys but it's done. Hopefully treatment will work very well and I will see a difference shortly. I guess I will make a follow-up video in about 8 to 10 weeks. Maybe a little bit sooner, like a little in-betweener to kind of <laughs> show you what's going on. If you guys found this video helpful and want to support my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give this video a like and share with your plant friends. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!